Lining up now our men's collegiate novice eight, the Derek Elker Memorial Cup. This is our final. All came from the heats and an eight boat race all eight lanes across these are the races that you come for so many boats present lots of racing to be had let's take a look at who is here in this race lane one gonzaga lane two orange coast college lane three ucla lane four uc davis lane five uc santa barbara lane six usc lane seven San Diego State, Lane 8, UC Irvine. Eight boats across, eight boats trying to get alignment so that they can find their way to the start of their race. Take a looking at that, taking a look at that camera overhead. You can see the breadth of boats here all the way across that San Diego channel sitting under the Sea World Gondola Tower. The starting boat there on that pontoon boat. The official sitting at the top there is the one who is controlling the race. You have alignment officials who are off to the side, and they will call to make sure that those boats are exactly aligned. We have volunteers sitting in the stake boats, and we'll take this as an opportunity to speak to all of the amazing volunteers who are out here to make sure that this event runs smoothly. From our officials to the volunteers on the shore to the volunteers in those stake boats, making sure alignment happens. And it looks like that race is now off. Those fast and furious early strokes here as the race gets up and running. You can tell now here in the afternoon, winds have picked up just a little bit, as is traditional here in San Diego. Those late morning, early afternoons, the wind is just naturally picking up. Nothing crazy here, however, but not quite the glass that we had this morning when we had those early morning races that just had picture-perfect conditions. Now, as we look to the early standings, it looks as if Orange Coast College has taken a bit of an early lead here in lane two. In lane one, Gonzaga still in contact, however. Next, we'll look out to lane three, UCLA, that looks to be in that third place position. Those look to be our top three boats as we take an early look at the race. Crews are about to bridge that gap from the first bridge and into the island where the real racing starts. We've got Aaron Kadatsky here with us on the microphone, helping to commentate this race. Aaron, what's your take so far? So far, we see a couple early leaders jumping out of lanes one, two, and three. And those three boats are starting to find a little bit of separation over the rest of the field. So if you look out to lane two, that's Orange Coast College, they have a lead over lane one, Gonzaga University. From there, those two boats have open water over UCLA, and then it's a tight race between lanes four, five, and six between UC Davis, Santa Barbara, and Southern California. Then looking out, San Diego State and UC Irvine also in contact. And you can see here as Gonzaga and Orange Coast College are starting to walk themselves away from the rest of the field, wanting to establish almost a two-boat race out front for that first, second-place position. UC Santa Barbara not quite able to respond with those two crews and go with them. Often, if you have a, uh, I like to call it the rabbit to chase, that gives you something to look forward to and a race to really sink your teeth into. But if you miss that opportunity to go, often that gap can widen to the point where you don't quite have the horsepower to bridge that gap in again and get back with the lead group. So it's one of those you have to choose to go because if you fall behind, it might be too little too late when you do decide that it is time to go. So we're right now looking at Orange Coast College in two, looking like they may have a bit of a lead here over Gonzaga, but the two boats sticking close together. We're not seeing any other boats necessarily challenging for that top two spot. Now it's looking like UCLA may be jumping into the mix, but it's a little tough to tell with our camera angles. Once we get an overhead drone shot, we may have a little better perspective on the racing. 
Yeah, I was watching the Gonzaga coxswain there turning around, looking at Orange Coast, calling for the crew to make a move. So they're still in close contact there as the two leaders for this race. But then it's still in close contact between lanes four, five, and six, UC Davis, Santa Barbara, and USC. So Aaron, as, as knowing this course, having raced it before, being a coxswain yourself, when you're thinking about the Crew Classic course, when you make moves, what landmarks you're looking for, what are the things that you think about when you're at this stage of the race crossing about to hit that 1500 meter mark? What have you been thinking about for the past 500 meters? The one main thing to note is that the conditions change quite a bit as you make your way down the course. And so for the crews to be a adaptive to these different conditions the winds can shift and so suddenly you know how does that crew respond to the different changes that they see making their way down the course um, but looking back at the race it's looking real close between lanes four and five that's uc davis and uc santa barbara with a slight advantage to uc davis there and then by a good amount of open water when we look to the leaders it's still between Gonzaga and Orange Coast College, but Gonzaga has now overtaken Orange Coast. They're sitting half a length over Orange Coast College. So that's a little different than what we saw at the beginning of the race where Orange Coast was leading that race. And as Aaron says that, it looks like in lane one, Gonzaga is slowly moving through, pressing seat by seat ahead in this race. Orange Coast College, not necessarily having the horsepower to respond, but again, anything can happen in the finish. So it's important not to count anybody out, especially when we have a two boat race here. Gonzaga taking their rate up. You're starting to see that chop be a little bit higher by those blades. Orange Coast College responding in kind. You're seeing rates back and forth exchange. Orange Coast, Orange Coast grabbing a seat back as we make our way into the finish line here. Eyes to the shore as these two boats are coming into the finish line. Gonzaga holding on to that lead, but Orange Coast starting to storm back. We'll see if they've got what it takes to hate, to take off that first place position. This is really going to come down to the wire here. As mentioned, it is Orange Coast trying to claw their way back. They were leading this race. They fell back by about half a length there in that third 500, but now coming through the line, it'll be a photo finish between Orange Coast and Gonzaga. This is the men's collegiate novice eight. That was a tight finish. It was almost impossible to tell from here which of those two crews took it. That is the tightest finish I think I have seen all day so far. A lot of surprised faces here at the finish. That's that one, two position. And now coming across in three looks to be UCLA followed by UC Davis, UC Santa Barbara, USC, and then San Diego State and UC Irvine on those two outside lanes coming in those seven and eight positions respectively.